Thank you. Um, Stephen, uh, we know that you've been uh, dreaming of this fight for a while now, and you've got the opportunity. Um, I'm, in, I'm just interested to hear from you. Um, how, how does the dream end? What does that look like? Have you, have you got a finish in mind, and um, have you got anything uh, in particular that you're, you're thinking of ending the fight with? You know what? You know, I never go out there trying to trying to look for the knockout. You know, it's one of those things where you, you know, you got to try and let it happen. I'm ready for five five in rounds, and um, that's what I expect to go out there. You know, I expect the best Tyron Woodley when I step out there, and that's what I'm prepared for. And if it goes five five, it goes five five. So yeah, man. A lot of people ask me, "What are you going to finish with a head kick or or this and that?" And I never go out there trying to look for the knockout, man. Just if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know what I mean? Just ready to go out there and do my thing, man. Uh, next Saturday. And a question for Stephen, kind of the reverse of what, you know, Tyron's going through. You know, a lot of guys are picking you. I know Damian Maya picked you. Uh, Kelvin Gastelum picked you. A lot of the other fighters in the division are picking you. I, I guess that has, has to feel good, but at the same time, does that put any extra pressure that, that a lot of people are picking you to win this fight? You know, I, I don't sit there and, and, and really uh, look at that kind of stuff or listen to that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I, I, like Tyron said, we're just focused on the fight, man, and that's all I'm worried about. There's a lot of fighters who actually um, think into a lot of that, a lot of that stuff. Oh man, I got this. Next thing you know, they're slacking off in training. And, but not me, man. I'm I'm ready for uh, the best Tyron Woodley when I step out there, November uh, 12th, man. And that's what I'm prepared for. So I block, kind of block all that stuff out and just focus on what I need to be doing. And it was a question kind of asked earlier, Tyron, talking about working with uh, Sage Northcutt. I know he had mentioned, you know, he's emulating you a little bit. And obviously, you and Sage are different fighters, different weight class. But I am kind of curious, you know, his addition of a guy like Sage and what you think about that. And, I mean, how hard is it to duplicate your style? You do have a pretty unique style in the octagon. Yeah, man, I do. Um, but if you if you go back and you watch um, Sage, man, we do have a similar style. He does come from a karate background. You know, he does some of the flashy stuff that I like to do as well. So, um, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm just prepared, knowing that Tyron probably has seen some of the stuff that I throw, that, that I'm going to be throwing. Because, you know, I know Sage, is, he's a karate guy, and he's going to go out there and try to do, simulate the best Steve Warner Boy Thompson he can. And, uh, you know what, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it, man, no matter what.